So I feel like I haven't filmed a favourite products, get ready with me style of video in a while, although it probably hasn't even been that long. The makeup will probably turn out to be super similar to anything that I always wear, but I have quite a lot of new products and things that I really wanted to show you guys and just generally things to talk about. So get ready with your favourite drink, let me know which one yours is down below and uh, let's get started. I don't actually have a drink, which is quite sad. I wanted to start off with talking about skincare and cleansing and things like that, so all of you skincare lovers definitely will enjoy this. I am a huge fan of Alex Steiner. She is, I think she used to work for Glamour or Marie Claire or a big magazine and she used to do the beauty sections and she brought out her own line with Primark and I, honest to God, feel like I would never buy skincare from Primark. It's one of those things I just feel like, why would I buy it from Primark? But I trust her so much with recommendations on products and makeup and things like that. So when I saw that she brought out her own line, I thought I have to try it and I've been trying it for a while now. This is actually my second bottle of her Maximum Moisture Micellar Cleansing Gel. And this is like nothing I have ever tried before in terms of cleanser. This is not your Garnier Micellar Water. This is not like those astringent gels that you get in the drugstore that are kind of like stripping of the skin. On a day that I'm lazy and I want to cleanse my skin and I don't want to use a Clinique Cleansing Balm, I don't want to like do a really thick cleanse because sometimes I also feel like over cleansing is bad. I use this, so it honestly does everything it says here. It says it multitasks, it's, a mo it's got moisture complex, fig extract, and it gently removes impurities and light makeup, leaving skin soft and replenished. I still do a double cleanse with this. I never ever single cleanse, so I either use this twice, or I use a, a simple oil that I kind of like melt into my skin, um, but I never like just cleanse once, ever, ever, ever. And she also has loads of other, and I have quite a lot of them, I just didn't bring them all out, of. Uh, skincare products I lost the lid to this but this is her uh, eye cream and it's called the sleep spa every night eye mask it's like a eye mask eye cream whatever you want to call it and then she also has like uh, I love this because I feel like anything else is really too much on my skin this is the sleep spa sleeping face mask and you just pop this on overnight and you sleep in it and it doesn't clog my pores or anything which as I said I'm very very prone I'm just gonna put these here on my desk so I have some more space <laughs> And then she also has Maximum Moisture, Moisture Locking Everyday Moisturiser. I might put a little bit more of this on because I am not leaving the house today, so I'm not going to wear SPF. But I also feel like my skin's going to go red now. But I also want to show you guys an SPF that is my absolute favourite. Ooh, went really red there. Okay, skin. That's, that's me. <laughs> I also am still loving, but I'm not going to put any on today because I feel like I still have a good tan going on. Um, but I'm still loving, and I use these a lot on days when I want to wear less makeup, the D-Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops by Drunk Elephant. And essentially you just mix these in with your moisturiser, your SPF, whatever, and it just gives you like a really nice bronze base but my favorite 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 sunscreen of all time and i will also say i'm still an olay girl like i love the regenerous line especially with the spf but if i want to bump up my spf that much higher this is my favorite and i kind of feel like bad about raving it i've raved about it in the past it's the laura mercier flawless skin daily face shield broad spectrum spf 40 sunscreen you used to be able to get this in the uk but i think they stopped manufacturing it which is so annoying because this is the only sunscreen that doesn't leave me greasy, cloggy, like sweaty, etc. Um, honestly, out of all the ones that I've tried, and that is like literally a SPF and not just like a moisturizer with an SPF. And I buy this on eBay and they charge you an arm and a leg, but it really is the best. And it's, um, if anyone cares, the active ingredient is octinoxate and titanium dioxide, which seem to agree with my very, very sensitive skin. As I said, I would normally put that on but because I'm not like leaving the house today, I'm not going to. I'm also just going to clip my hair back. Are we liking the uh, pearl headband thing? Um, it's just basically to get my hair out of my face. I have brought my makeup bag, which this bag has seen me through. Um, it basically feels like I'm never at home anymore. I feel like I literally stay at home maybe three times a week. And it just means I have to pack my like makeup bag a lot. And also I've just used this since holiday. Um, and it really needs a clean, which is gross. But that is essentially like my everyday products. It kind of looks like a lot, but I don't feel like it's that much. But I literally just packed everything in here just to make it very 
realistic what I'm using. Um, do I look crazy? I feel like I might. I feel like very Anne Boleyn vibes in this when I wear this headband. Yeah, like Anne Boleyn. Oh, she used to be that whole vibe. The Tudors, Anne Boleyn, blah, blah, blah is like an era that I really enjoy reading about. And anyway, I got sent some things irrelevant. Uh, I got sent some things from Bare Minerals. I got sent quite a few things and probably my favorite product out of all of them is their liquid highlighters. They also do a uh, powder highlight, but I'm kind of using something else today, but they're also really good to try. They sent me like a glow mist and lots of products. A big thank you to them. And this is the one in, is it called free? Or is it just free for me? <laughs> it just says free at the bottom. It must be the name of it. But you can also mix this in with your foundation. I actually have something really cool to show you guys in a minute, but let me just finish this. Um, so I just put it on all the higher points of my face and this makes the biggest difference to my makeup i've even got wipes here like i'm so ready for this video guys i'm being so professional i'm so proud of myself <laughs> i'm wearing a lot of jewelry today so if you hear a lot of sorry but not sorry i feel naked without it i can't help it i don't know what to do um just to let you guys know my earrings that you see here are from mango they do like this 24 karat gold plated collection and just to get you guys to like be able to tell in terms of quality I jumped in the sea in these in Turkey um, in the pool like I wore them throughout my holiday and they still haven't tarnished the rings don't last so well because I am someone who washes my hands a lot during the day and even if I take them off they don't like last that well but the earrings have done really well. My Huggies are from Topshop. My ring is actually Zara. And my necklace is Mango too. So I will link them all down below because I know you guys always ask me. Foundation. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. We're being really boring. I use this all the time. But I've discovered a new colour. Um, I thought I didn't know they did because I was mixing some older shades. And it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. Always the light uh, foundation. Sorry for all of you guys who get bored, but I would be lying if I said I was using anything else. This is the only foundation on me that just, I always get compliments on my skin when I use it. I just feel like it gives me the staying powder of double wear, staying powder, staying power, but without the heaviness. And I don't know if they've brought out even more new shades because I know they reformulated, but this is the shade Honey Bronze 4W1. And I was using Fawn 3W1 and mixing it with an old shade but I think this shade matches me better. So we're just gonna kind of apply that everywhere. Guys, what are your favorite foundations? I feel like I'm always on the hunt for a foundation. Do I have a spot? How annoying, I do. Um, but I just always stick to this. Do you guys remember, like this is OG subscribers. Do you guys remember my Laura Mercier um, Oh, what was it called like the powder uh you know like it used to be like this little pot um kind of similar to this powder and I used to like get it out and I used to blend beautifully and I used to have like a buffer brush and I got it because Lisa Lisa D1 recommended it it's still a really good foundation um I just kind of got into liquids now for concealer kind of the same I haven't really steered away um, I really want to try the Benefit one. Um, I think that's meant to be really good. I don't know, I was watching a tutorial and someone was using it and saying it was really good. But this is just the Too Faced Ball This Way. And I do like to pack on the concealer. I like to highlight, especially because I find that's kind of where I have a lot of discoloration. I like to let it kind of dry a little bit. I always find it melts a bit better and whilst i'm doing that i want to show you guys this let me turn it off so you guys can see this is the ricky what's it called ricky heart ricky or ricky skinny mirror i'm not really sure how to say it um mirror now this is possibly one of the coolest things like i've ever been sent and they've also i mean this is gonna blind you guys they've also given it to me personalized and it says my name on it which anything personalized as like a youtuber whatever you just instantly fall in love with 
And just to show you guys, it's basically a vanity mirror for your dressing table or whatever you want to put it. Um, and it comes with a little stand. It kind of looks like an iPad, um, which is very, very cool. It comes with a stand, so you can put it on a stand and you can use it to take selfies. So you can either use it as a mirror. So for example, I'm turning it on and as you can see, it lights up and you can light it up to as much as you want. And it gives you the most prettiest light. You can see everything, honest to God. Um, and Feel Unique actually sent me this. It's got different buttons for like, obviously it tells you the battery life. And then you can put your Bluetooth on here. So when you press the camera on here, you take a selfie. It's got a iPhone stand. So you just do that and it kind of like is magnetic. Um, and you put your iPhone onto it and you take selfies, but you've got the perfect light. Um, if you're someone, if you're an influencer, for example, or generally if you just like taking selfies, which obviously we're in 2019 and who doesn't like taking a selfie? But it's so cool. Um, I've just had a play with it today, to be honest with you. I haven't had it for that long and I'm obsessed with it because all most of my packages go to my mom's house and I'm actually using it right now as I'm filming this as my mirror. I've actually managed to prop it up underneath my camera. So um, I'm just gonna put it back and I've got the light on and you don't actually like need the light but it's helping me even to give my video a bit more light. And it's just super cool. I can't wait to show people when they come round. And I don't think it's like extortionately expensive but I just feel like it'd be a really cool Christmas gift or something. I'm kind of excited to play around. If you see a selfie on my Instagram, which I've been really dead on my Instagram. Um, you you guys can follow me on here. Um, you will probably notice that the lighting is good and it will probably be because of this. The Beauty Blender Police might like hate me for this, but am I the only person that doesn't like wet their Beauty Blender? Mine looks so sorry for itself, but I promise it's not that dirty. I don't know, I just don't wet it. Maybe it's laziness or whatever, but I use it with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. This is for under eye and face in medium two. I love this powder, and this is actually the only powder that agrees with me with this concealer, because otherwise this concealer, it gets on my contact lenses, and it's like, I've talked about this in other videos, but yeah, I don't dampen my beauty blender. Am I committing a huge crime? I don't know. But does anyone else agree with me? I do it every now and again, like if I really want to be fancy, but I, don't, I find maybe because I'm using powder that I don't really need it. So I just put it around my nose. And this is the only place, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, that I powder because powder actually breaks me out if I start messing around with it too much all over my face. I just take the powder on this brush too dust it off and to do my eyelids. I always find doing this makes my eyeshadow last way longer. Also guys, what are we thinking about my lips? So this is, I mean, when did I get them done? I got them done, oh, I can't even remember now when. Um, but it's been a while. I'm guessing it's been probably like three weeks ish although recently time is going so quick but so slow at the same time that I don't even know what's going on and yeah this is what they're looking like I'm having like fights with myself about getting them done slightly bigger and you guys are probably going to be like Barbara you need to stop but I'm sure anyone who gets lip fillers done has this same battle with themselves about getting them bigger or whatever because you get so used to them looking super juicy and you end up kind of liking it. Um, but I'm super happy. I think I'll be sticking with this product that we used last time. I find that it's kept the volume much better than uh, the previous product that I used. It feels slightly thicker, I won't lie. But I was a bit petrified when I first got it and I was like, oh my god, my lips feel really funny. And then it just honestly has gone away. I bought this on a whim the other day when I was like browsing in boots because now that I'm slightly more tanned, I feel like I need a bronzer that oomphs my face up a little bit more. My other bronzer was a little bit too light. So I thought, let's just give this a go. This is the Fenty Beauty, which I love Fenty. And it's the Sunstalker uh, Caramel Cutie Bronzer. This is slightly too dark. I think it was like for medium deep skin tones. 
but I'd rather have it a little bit darker and be lighted like handed with it than have something that is too light and I have to like pack on so um, I love the tone of this this is also the kind of shade that I love for my eyes so sometimes when I'm being lazy especially for work what I'll do is I'll just use I'll show you guys I'll just use it on my eyes but I basically dust this anywhere that the Sun would naturally hit Please tell me I don't look orange on camera because I really don't in real life. And the Lynn headband, you are getting on my nerves. <laughs> For me to steer away from my Estee Lauder bronzer means that this must be good. So all I do is I take it and I put it on my lids like that. And I feel like it really blends everything together. It kind of just looks like I put it everywhere, doesn't it? Then I take my Who Remembers This brush. Oh, this is this goes back with me to my pre-reg days because I brought it um, at my, like, we had a Wilco outside my old pre-reg shop. And this is my, like, I blend everything with you brush. And my eyebrows will probably go crazy. Also, speaking of eyebrows, you guys know I like to keep it quite you know honest on my channel but it's always been a kind of topic that I've been not sure if I want to talk about because I'm always like mm, are people gonna be like you get too much stuff done you're doing this you're ruining your face but when I notice that I've never had I don't know if anyone else feels like this when I've got darker hair I always can see the foundation in my hair I have been getting Botox <laughs> I've kind of been toying with the idea of talking about this topic and I keep thinking to myself, why am I not? And does it, like, why not? I'm always very, very open on here. And so many of you guys have been telling me that my skin looks so good. Like, what have you done to your skin? You look glowy, you look, you know, fresh. And I'm just gonna take the foundation off my lips because I hate it. And it's not just the lip filler, guys. I actually got Botox. Um, and I've been getting it and I kind of wanted not to talk about it because I felt like I want to really give it a go and see what I feel about it before I come on here and really talk about it. I like lip fillers which was more like a journey where I kind of had talked about it for so long and I really wanted to document it. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Face Palette in Lightgasm and I'm using this shade. Can you guys tell this is my favourite? This is what I use to contour with. And I still love putting it under my lip because I feel like it accentuates them. And it was just something that I was kind of like, mm, should we talk about it? Mm, should we not talk about it? And I want to talk about it because why not? And you guys have been telling me like my face looks so fresh and etc, etc. And I feel like I'm almost, I've talked about it in the comments, but I haven't talked about it on video. Like when someone says like, have you done anything? Every time, every time. I have been getting Botox. I think the first time I ever did it was around, um, I can't remember, maybe April, March time. And um, it was done by the lovely Mariam at Lumaesthetics. I'm in no way like, she's not telling me to talk about it. She is the sweetest, she would never ever do that. Um, and she's actually whom I get my facials done with, which is probably why you guys have seen such a change in my skin also just generally. Um, and I don't know I'm just so happy and I wouldn't talk about it if I wasn't but she honestly has been keeping me so fresh looking I feel like I haven't looked this fresh in so long I feel like I look younger than I did even like three years ago which is so weird to say because I'm getting older obviously and I'm just so happy and so thrilled to have met someone who just gets the vibe of what I want to do with my face so um she very kindly has done my Botox for me twice and I just want to show you guys in terms of like facial movement or whatever. So I don't personally want to feel like I can't move my face. I feel like it looks a little bit, don't know, not, not really for me. So this is me frowning. Hi, I'm very angry. And this is me 
moving my forehead so the main thing is I don't know why I don't know how I don't know where and I don't want to know why I just it just wasn't for me I started noticing some lines on my forehead that were really bugging me especially when I would be putting on my makeup and I just wanted them gone and that's why I'm getting the Botox basically I'm not saying that you have to do it I'm not saying that if you have lines on your forehead that they are you know bad it's just obviously being in this industry and also just generally being interested in the industry and having to see my face more probably than the average person probably means that I notice things a bit more and I'm just very very interested in things like that in cosmetics and honestly I love it and I don't know I just didn't want to really be like not hiding it anymore but it was something that I wanted to address I think that's a nice way of putting it now I'm using which is another product that I've been really liking but it is new I've never bought Laura Mercier blushes I always buy MAC or Charlotte Tilbury but every time I buy Charlotte Tilbury and Charlotte Tilbury is my favorite makeup brand I drop it like I dropped one of my powders the other day and it's gone you drop it and you're done so I drop things all the time like especially at work I'm constantly dropping things constantly dropping things so I need to buy something that's a little bit more it kind of like will withstand me dropping it 20 million times so I thought I'd try these these are the blush color infusions by Laura Mercier and I read very good reviews on the strawberry color which is this and I've been loving this kind of very very pink tone of blush at the moment and I've been loving oh forgot about this this is from um, Bare Minerals and they sent me some brushes I love this brush this is the best blush brush that I've ever used and I just like the way it fits can you guys see my cheeks they're just there's quite a lot of meat there and it just fits my cheeks very very well but um, I love this blush so I love the fact that I can kind of go to town with it a little bit um, it gives me that kind of really pretty pink flush and I love the whole Kylie Jenner trick of basically putting blush all over your face but can you guys see I'm probably putting more on for the video but it's very pretty oh I didn't contour my nose naughty naughty I'm taking that same color and I am I've got that mirror in front of me guys so if I look like I'm looking here it's very handy if you're a youtuber and you haven't got this mirror and you film a lot of tutorials please get it because it's honestly very very good sometimes if I want to be really highlighted I also leave a tiny bit of powder just there for a little bit whilst I do other things um and then i dust it off but now we come to one of my other favorite parts of makeup and that is highlighter can you tell how excited i get when i um talk about it i'm not using anything new um i haven't really bought anything new this is just the good old laura geller gilded honey highlighter and because i've got a good tan going on i'm still really enjoying using this always always on the top of the lip probably a little bit too much always 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 on the top of the brow and the temple again probably put too much just here oh my god this highlighter and i get this from cult beauty last time i checked i think they still do laura geller I mean honestly how gorgeous is that okay I need to look a little bit closer mine actually has broken so I need to be very careful with it also if anyone is wondering we're back to the pink nails I had some cool nails going there for a while I'll put a picture here if I still have it of what I had going on but guys I just feel so me with this color um I don't actually know what color it is um my nail salon I just have this random pink shade that I love and I went in the other day it was literally yesterday and this girl who doesn't even do my nails I was looking for the color on the shelf and I think she genuinely knows that I get this every single time she was just like are you looking for they call it number 38 are you looking for number 38 and I was like uh, and it came to me as soon as she said the number I was like yeah 
And I was gonna say something like, oh my God, how do you know that I like number 38? But then I thought, Barbara, just, she already thinks you're weird. Like, just leave it. But um, I always recently get my toes and my nails in this same color and it just makes me so happy. Do you guys remember I used to wear reds a lot? I used to do khakis. I actually used to experiment with my nails quite a bit. But you know when you find something that's just so good, you just can't get away from it. And just going to highlight the tip of my nose. <laughs> I dropped the highlighter. We have Laura Geller, I keep wanting to say Laura Mercier, Laura Geller, Gilded Honey all over my floor. That's okay, we can clean that up later. I told you guys this makeup wasn't going to look any different to anything I've ever done before. Did anyone believe me when I was saying that? Is anyone bored yet? Is anyone still with me? Let me know below. I'm now going to be drawing in my brows. It's really weird. And I never quite understand this, but a lot of you prefer my brows and not drawn on, but I don't get it. Um, it's really weird. I much prefer them drawn on. Um, and I know, I, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I, I have good brows. I, am I allowed to say that about myself without sounding, you know, conceited? But I will give myself one credit in my life that I have pretty decent brows. And I think it just comes from coming from a family of Iranian women who never let me overpluck my eyebrows. And um, yeah, but I still feel like they need to be drawn on. I do remember it back in the day, I didn't used to. But a lot of you tell me all the time in the comments that you prefer them not drawn on. Dunno, we'll do like a side by side. So that's a drawn on brow. And then sometimes I do like to take some powder on, well, I actually haven't taken any powder. I'm just taking anything left on that brush. But that's a done eyebrow and a not done eyebrow. They're never going to look the same, but do you guys prefer them done or not done? Like, do I need to do the, my eyebrows? It's weird. I don't know. I still do. <laughs> I probably look a bit crazy because I'm not wearing eye makeup. But I'd love to know what you all think. That's what they look like. I mean, they're not unharsh, I will say. I mean, I am a brunette, so I have thick brows. But I like them. And I guess that's all that matters, isn't it? And then using, which I've been loving, sometimes when I'm being lazy for work and I don't have, you know, the mental capacity to do my eyebrows, I use this, which is the Hourglass Arch Brow Shaping Gel, but they sent me loads of them in different colours. This is just the clear because I've drawn them on, so I don't like to do both. I don't like to have drawn on and, um, what's it called? Like a brow, coloured brow gel. I kind of like having the clear. But I do love this product in the coloured version on lazy days. When I'm not trying to do my eyebrows. In terms of eyes, we're doing nothing crazy in the eye department. This is the Charlotte Tilbury and I just got this recently because I love these shades that she's coming out with. But I wish she would do them in individuals because I really don't use the other colours in the palette. But this is the Transformize Bigger Brighter Eyes filter. And I know you're kind of like meant to use all the colours and you know blah blah blah. But I'm sure you all know which colour I'm going to use and it's this. I love these kind of shades that Charlotte Tilbury comes out with. Just for funsies because we're here today I might use this in my... Uh, like under my brow, even though we've already kind of used something there. And maybe just there, just for jokes. But the star of the show is going to be that peachy, pinky colour. This is not the brush that I wanted. This is the brush that I wanted. This is my all-time favourite uh, eyeshadow brush. It's the 286 by MAC. And we are not going to be dropping this. Uh, I'm going to be putting this where I always put my eyeshadows. And that is just in my crease. And yes, it looks super crazy at first. But I love these shades. I feel like you look a little bit like you've got pink eye for it. Or conjunctivitis as we say in the UK. But I honestly feel like they're such a pretty colour. Especially for this kind of season where it's a 
like a transitional season, right? Let's take Anne Boleyn off for a second. I'm also possibly thinking, you guys will probably see my roots come out, of going lighter again. And so many of you guys complimented me in my last video on my hair and I was like, it's only, you know, if, to me, being a brunette is just because I've had so many different hair colors in the last few years, it just feels so, a little bit more plain basically, but I've really enjoyed it. But I get the bug of I'm bored and I wanna play with my hair quite a lot. So I'm actually going for a hair consultation. So it's only a consultation tomorrow after work to see what we think about doing with my hair. I also feel like in the winter, I like being a bit lighter because I tend to wear slightly darker colors like the navies and the burgundies. And I like having the contrast of slightly lighter ends. I don't think I'll ever be a blonde again but I like the idea of bringing back some lighter bits in my hair. You guys probably by now know I use about 10 million different mascaras. So I'm using Clinique Bottom Lash right now. My Anne Boleyn thing is... Do, do people wear this like out? Because it slides off my head. So any OG, you know, watchers of my channel will know that this is my favourite bottom lash mascara because any other mascara for my bottom lashes either smudges or you know you get those black bits of mascara if you're one of those invest in this little itty bitty guy and you will thank me later it's really weird right I don't actually spend a lot of money on lipsticks and things like that anymore I'm quite content with a lot of ones that I have but recently I got some new lip liners from Laura Mercier and I got, these are all, they have so much makeup on them from my travels. I got the shade in Hazelnut Tea. This is all because, this is all because of Negan Merzalehi because I think she uses these. So that's that, that's that one. This is Chestnut and this is Naked. I just got Naked. This is a little bit too light for me. If I show you guys and I'm a little bit peed off about it, I might give it to my sister. You can probably tell. It's a little bit too light for me. So this might be going to a good home. Alessandra coming at you. But I'm gonna be using Chestnut and i love this lip combo okay let's come closer so you can actually see my lips they're a little bit dry right now but you can see i quite like when i ask for lip filler i quite like a more juicier bottom lip look and the whole ratio of the lip is always, it's more than, more often than not, your top lip is smaller than the bottom. Um, but I have quite a lot of asymmetry in my top lip. So this uh, lip is slightly bigger than that one. I would go back and correct this, but I feel like my mum would literally kill me. So uh, she has said I'm not allowed. Uh, so I'm not going back. And yes, I'm 26 years old, and yes, I listen to my mum because she ultimately wants the best for me, so. And I did colour them in, and you can see the colour, it's really pretty. And at the airport, I treated myself to a new perfume and also a lipstick from Tom Ford, which is probably my favourite, no, it's not probably, it is my favourite uh, perfume brand. And I've never tried any of their lipsticks, it's just... A full price, I don't know whether I would splurge on them for myself, um, but I wanted to try one of their matte ranges because I do primarily like to wear matte lipstick. And this is in the shade Deceiver, and it's very pretty. If you like a MAC, uh, a MAC matte lipstick, then you will like this. And also how pretty is the packaging. And if I really want to be jazzy, I got sent these by Hourglass, and I got sent, I think, most of the range. This is their lip glosses, and this is, they're called something, the volumizing lip glosses or something, and this is in Unreal, Unreal Child. 
and these smell minty yeah which i wish they smelled like more like candy uh, more chocolatey vanillary that kind of thing um but i think it's because these are quite plumping and i take off most of the lip gloss because i don't actually want that much oh my god it's so pretty with this lip combo and then you can always add a little bit more I just don't want it to be gloopy I'm just going to zoom out that's zooming in but I love the contrast of the pinkiness in the cheeks with the sort of nudie every nudie everything else and that lip combo is very pretty I'm then going to use my Sarah Zinc face mist and on the areas that I want a bit of glow I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Dew Mist so this is just, I don't, you can't actually use a lot of this I just use that much like so and then what I like to do is fan myself but this is my going out to dinner, more glam kind of everyday makeup. Or if I'm meeting a friend and I want to look a little bit more glam. This is definitely not work makeup. So this is the finished makeup look. Definitely, definitely more glam for the day. But this is like my daytime glam. And um, I'm really, really happy with it. Very similar to other things that I've shown you guys before, but just playing around with different products. Keeping the skin glowy and fresh, and I'm really, really into this kind of glossy lip. Um, and yeah, what do you guys think? Is it? Would you guys wear this during the day? I feel like this is like a date day makeup. You know, you want to look your best, but you don't want to look overdone, it's sexy, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I have a few honourable mentions for hair, because... You guys know I'm not a hair channel. I, Although my biggest video on YouTube is a hair video. I'll leave you guys to tell me which one that is down below. I think it has over a million views. Um, I'm sure you guys can guess which one it is if you're an OG follower. But I hate hairspray. Um, except if I'm doing like a sleek back hair look. You know when I do like my low buns and everything or my high buns. But when I use hairspray for my hair when it's like this to keep the curl. I just I just don't like it but one hairspray that I found and I only have this because I brought it on holiday with me and I didn't use it and then I used it when I came back when I wanted to try it is um, I had a mini of this it's the Lee Stafford hairspray flexible hold I will just say get the flexible one I haven't tried the like stiffer one um, and it just means that my curls stay in a slightly better I still have hair that like doesn't retain a curl whatever I do so like this is literally me waving my hair the second time today to get it like this I'm just not a hair person but um it does better than if I'm not using this if that even makes sense so definitely definitely try this and I do have a lid somewhere but I just don't know where it is and another honorable mention is this I don't talk a lot about hair tools either but this is the glamorizer and it's a brush straightener dealio type thing and i'll be very honest with you guys i didn't use just this to do my hair today i had to use this then use a tong i blue dry my hair also but this is like a kind of healthier way for your hair to get it smooth which isn't a straightener and i actually love this to smooth out you know when especially you have curl well wavy hair like me we won't kind of call it curly because people get peed off with me but I find that these areas of my hair don't stay straight or smooth and it was really nice to kind of be able to use it like a brush and just brush through my hair I'm not going to show you guys this because I'm really bad at hair I really am but if you really want me to do it I could but I really don't want to but when you when this is on because it's not plugged in right now you can smooth your hair out and it's almost like you're giving yourself a blow dry but by smoothing your hair out the front of your hair just looks really pretty like I don't know does it make sense what I'm talking about it just made it look super pretty so I'm just gonna come closer to show you guys the makeup close up I hope you guys all thoroughly enjoyed this video as I did filming it I will link all the products down below star 
products of this video are the mirror. I would not show you guys this sort of thing if I didn't really enjoy it. Probably the Tom Ford lipstick, the Hourglass lip gloss, because like, look at this lip gloss, how gorge. And the Fenty bronzer, I'm digging, and probably always, always, always my foundation. I just can't get over that foundation. Let me know if you try it because of me. I will see you all in my next video. I love you guys lots, and I do kind of want to do a bit more makeup stuff. So let me know if you enjoyed this. I love you all. Take care. Bye.